How's it going everyone? Welcome to Shifting Lanes and for this video you find me sitting in the 2023 Cadillac CT4V Blackwing. This is a certified badass luxury sports sedan. There's been many great GM sports sedans in the past like the Pontiac G8 and the Chevy SS and of course the previous gen CTSV and the ATSV. This one feels very much like a great successor in almost every way. This CT4V Blackwing is finished in the blaze orange metallic premium paint with the upgraded natural tan leather seating surface. There's almost 10 grand worth of options here and with delivery charge this spec comes out to $71,535. And in this video I want to give you my likes and dislikes about this absolute powerhouse of a car and also give you my personal rating on the exterior, interior, the technology, the power, the driving experience and my overall rating of this car so that you have a better idea before you buy. So if you want to skip to any of those sections just check out the chapters in this video. Let's first start with the exterior design of this car and immediately two words come to my mind about the exterior, not obnoxious. Now while BMW is busy experimenting with the size of its nostrils, this Cadillac has pretty much stuck with its simple five-sided grille. It looked great on the older CTS and the ATS and it looks great here on the CT4V Blackwing. And just like the older caddies, there are many interesting facets and angles to this front end and it adds a lot to the luxury look and feel. And if you look more closely, there's some little features that jut and flare out, hinting that this is a more serious performance machine compared to the vanilla CT4. However, those little details are not done in a noisy fashion, so in a way, there's something sleeperish in the way this caddy looks. That is if you ignore the following items, like the blue brake calipers gripping the 15 inch two piece rotors up front and the 13.4 inch rotors at the rear. Then there's the civilized version of the duckbill spoiler. And finally, you'll notice the blacked out quad exhaust when you've just lost to this thing in a race. And if you do wanna make this look more obnoxious, there are carbon fiber packages that you can add, which will give you that mullet style spoiler, the front splitter, and a lot more carbon fiber in all the right places. So from an exterior design perspective, I'm going to give this a rating of nine out of 10 because I think this is a fine looking luxury sports sedan. And then there's other design details like the wider front fenders, the teardrop LED daytime running lights, the contrasting lock button on the door handles, and the V badges that make this feel like a properly expensive looking ride. Now let's jump into the interior and as expected there's a lot of features, surfaces, and textures in this car that make it feel like a proper luxury car. The natural tan leather interior is a big contributor to that. This is a $4,900 interior package that not only adds a more luxurious quilted insert pattern, but also upgrades the front seat backs to the more sporty race car like seat. These seats also has heating and ventilated features as well as a driver and front passenger lumbar massaging feature. The driver's seat will even rumble when you're getting close to a curb so that you know when to stop. And this tester also comes equipped with the high performance steering wheel so it features some carbon fiber trim, leather wrapped wheel, a serialized number plate that denotes a portion of the VIN, and some special buttons like the V-Mode quick access button and a performance traction management dial. And looking down the center console, you'll find some tactile volume and tuning dials. There's a home button on here. And looking further down, there's some tactile HVAC buttons. If you've been in the older CTSVs and ATSVs, this is a really nice addition. And further down, there's a wireless charger, more carbon fiber trim, and there's a couple of extra drive mode buttons and the rev matching feature for the manual transmission and the traction control button. All of the buttons and the switch gear feel pretty high quality. Even the button on this armrest feels really, really nice, as well as that automatic high beam button on the left stalk of the steering wheel 
and the dials. Seating position in the front row is very good. There's plenty of adjustability for the front seats. The three pedals are positioned very nicely and visibility is quite good with the low dash. And depending on how tall your front passenger is, they may or may not like the amount of room in the footwell because they kind of have to point themselves to the side because there's a lot of structure in this tunnel. Presumably, it's to redirect all of that energy in the event of a frontal crash. As for the second row, you'll find the same high quality quilted inserts and the V logo stitching. You'll find the same tan seat belts. However, the second row legroom isn't very roomy at 33.4 inches. And this is smaller compared to the other German car manufacturers. They will have a pretty good view of the front seats, which look really fantastic. And there's even a V logo back there as well. In terms of the cargo area, there's 10.7 cubic feet of space in the trunk. That's fairly small for this sized luxury segment. And for reference, the BMW 3 Series has a trunk space of 17 cubic feet. So I'm giving the interior a rating of 8 out of 10 because there's a lot of nice luxury features in here and I think you're going to love sitting inside. But if you have some taller passengers and you have a lot of stuff to carry, you might not like living with a CT4. Next up, let's talk about technology. My favorite feature here is the 12 inch high def digital instrument cluster. You can customize the look between a traditional, sporty to a track inspired layout. And it can also be linked to the actual drive mode settings. The display is clean and clear and the animations are smooth. The only small negative I have is that the transition between the driving mode looks like a bad PowerPoint presentation with the speedometer floating awkwardly into various positions. As for the infotainment system, this is running on the Cadillac user experience and it's displayed on an eight inch touchscreen. Screen size alone, this looks tiny compared to other luxury sports sedans. And the user experience of this Q system basically feels like the GM version with a Cadillac skin on it. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that because I like GM's execution of their infotainment system. I just wish that there's a more cohesive design theme between the two screens. I do like that there's wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto in this unit. And to keep everything wireless, there's also a wireless charger down below. And then there's the 15 speaker premium AKG sound system, which sounds amazing. This specific tester also comes with a second generation performance data recorder. This is a $1,600 option, but if you plan on doing any sort of track and autocross days, then this is a really nice upgrade to have. Even if you don't plan on doing any performance driving, you can set this PDR to record automatically when you start the car. So this can basically serve as a very expensive dash cam that's been very well integrated into the car. Just pop the SD card on the left hand side of the dash and you could start recording. And safety wise, there's plenty of safety technology in here as well, like the adaptive cruise control, forward collision warning, blind spot monitoring system and rear cross traffic alert, just to name a few. So overall, there's plenty of technology found in the CT4V Blackwing. I'll give it a rating of eight out of 10 because it has everything I need, but the smaller than average screen and the overall software look slightly miss the mark. Now let's move on to the power department because this CT4V Blackwing comes equipped with a 3.6 liter twin turbo V6 that makes 472 horsepower and 445 pound feet of torque. And with a 3,860 pound curb weight, that engine gives an estimated zero to 60 time of 4.1 seconds. I can't quite seem to verify that because I'm riding on winter tires right now. I'm filming this review in December of 2022. So I can't really get much grip and the roads are a little bit icy. There is launch control in this car and you should use that because this will easily eat through your tire budget. Now, when you punch it hard, You'll forget that there's only six cylinders in a V configuration as this power plant feels super smooth as it climbs up the revs. And to hit 60, you only need two gears in this thing. The engine and exhaust sound is also excellent. Most of it might be manufactured through these speakers, but that doesn't really matter to me because most cars do that anyway. But it sounds really amazing when you adjust the engine noise all the way to the most aggressive setting. It'll reward you with some consistent pops and crackles when you lift off the throttle. 
modify the exhaust mm -hmm. for maximum effect. So I'm giving this a power rating of nine out of 10 because this engine is a sweet dance partner to the awesome way this car handles, which I'll discuss next. The only point against it is that it's not the more potent 6.2 liter supercharged V8 that can be found in the more lethal CT5 V Blackwing. And you won't get very good gas mileage in this thing as expected. This will need premium gas, of course, and it's rated for 15 city, 23 highway, and 18 miles per gallon combined. Finally, let's talk about the driving experience of the CT4 V Blackwing. First of all, the ride quality is very appropriate for a luxury sports sedan. There's adaptive suspension with magnetic ride control, which means that it's very comfortable and luxury car-like at the softest setting and fairly firm, but still not too jarring at the stiffest setting. Sound intrusion is minimal, offering a comfortable driving experience. Even if there's a lot of road noise, the 15 speaker system will easily drown all of that out. Handling wise, the magnetic ride control can really do magical things. It knows when you're cornering hard and it tries to keep the car as flat as possible. I experienced the mag ride when I had the C8 Corvette 70th Anniversary Edition to review. And if you're interested in that, please click on the link up in the corner. And that car produced the same mind bending effects, but to a much greater extent, of course. As for the steering feel and feedback in the CT4V Blackwing, it is also superb. Crank up the steering damping and this car begins to feel more like a race car, minus the safety cage, the five point harness and the general discomfort of one. You feel so connected to the car and you get such a satisfying experience when you go through back rows like this. And then there's the six speed manual transmission. Oh, how lovely this thing really is. Rowing through the gates and settling into gear gives such an utterly satisfying mechanical click that you find yourself unnecessarily downshifting just so you can upshift again. And then when it comes to the clutch, there's a slight heavy feel to it, but the engagement point is really nice. It will get a little bit tiring when you're going through bumper to bumper traffic. So I'm giving the driving experience of this car a rating of 10 out of 10 because this has all the right ingredients of a luxury sports sedan. It has a really nice ride, it has awesome handling thanks to that magnetic ride control and this has that really sweet 3.6 liter twin turbo engine that makes 472 horsepower that all of that combined you never want to stop driving this thing so overall the ct4v blackwing is a home run in my book it looks and drives really well and it comes equipped with a decent amount of convenience and safety tech that makes it a great daily driver that you can also bring to the track and embarrass a ton of people. So I'm giving the CT4V Blackwing an overall rating of nine out of 10. I wanna hear your thoughts on this one, so please leave your comments down below. If you've learned something from this video, please consider hitting that like, subscribe, and that notification bell button so that you can be notified anytime I make a new video. Let's wrap it up right there. My name's Hansen. This has been the 2023 Cadillac CT4V Blackwing, and I'll see you in the next one.